ranking every single upcoming Disney movie and TV show by how excited I am for them. Coming in dead last at number 33 is Mufasa the Lion King because I am just fundamentally against a live action remake that's still actually all in CGI and animated. It's so dumb to me and now we're making a prequel to the Lion King. Maybe this will blow me away and surprise me but I am just not excited for this thing whatsoever. Number 32 is Monster Jam which is a Dwayne The Rock Johnson monster truck driver movie from Disney. I have no idea why they're making this. It's just a random side quest from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Not excited for it. Number 31 is Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. Now listen they're bringing back a lot of the original cast for this reboot which is great and all and I grew up with the original Wizards of Waverly Place show I really liked it as a kid I'm sorry Wizards of Waverly Place in the big year of 2024 is absolutely insane just let it go bro it's over 30 is Elio I'm all for Pixar trying more original IPs instead of just straight up sequels but this just does not seem very interesting to me if so this boy that gets mistaken as Earth's ambassador it could be cool but I'm not hyped for it number 29 is Ironheart the trailer for this looked I guess decent but like she was an okay side character in Black Panther Wakanda forever I don't know why she needs her own spin-off show it just seems unbelievably unnecessary to me. At least the Dean from Community, aka Jim Rash, is returning in this movie to play the character he played in Civil War. That is what I'm most excited for about this show. 28 is Frozen 3. I'm sure this film's gonna be absolutely fine. I am just not an eight-year-old. I'm not the target market for it. I've never been a fan of the Frozen film, so I'm just not that hyped for it. Number 27, I have Skeleton Crew. This is a new Star Wars show starring Jude Law, who I do absolutely love. He's gonna be playing this like Jedi mentor figure, but the show is gonna be told through the perspective of these younger kids that are going through the galaxy. They're kind of lost. It's been compared to the vibes of like a Goonies or maybe E.T. kind of coming of age movie but as a TV show instead. I'm gonna give this a chance to just because of Jude Law but honestly the concept and the trailer kind of put me to sleep like I just don't care about this simply. At number 26 we have What If Season 3. It's gonna be the final season of the show. We do know that White Vision, Ironheart, Shang-Chi, and Oscar Isaac will be returning to voice Moon Knight in this season of the show but I'm not gonna lie this is another one that I feel like has just been so much wasted potential. I don't care about this season honestly. 25 is another Pixar original idea which again I hope this is a pleasant surprise just based off the concept alone I'm not that hyped about it it's about this girl that transfers her mind into a robot beaver to infiltrate the animal kingdom which is pretty much just Pixar Avatar which is another Disney property anyway so I don't know why they're doing this hopefully it's a surprise though 24 is the eyes of Wakanda series I hope this is going to be really good they did announce it's only going to be four episodes which kind of killed my hype for it a little bit I would love to get a little bit more into Wakanda if we we're going to make a whole series about it hopefully it's good again similarly at 23 we have Marvel zombies which is kind of similar as Wakanda forever because we know it's going to be four episodes it's going to be rated tvma so this has my interest peaked i'm not gonna lie apparently shang chi and jimmy woo are the main characters i have no idea what they're cooking with it could be absolutely gas i'm hopeful for it again but this is one that i just gotta be lower on the list because of some stat competition number 22 is zootopia 2 i'm not gonna lie the insane comments on the internet around judy hops kind of has brought my hype down a little bit for the show but i'll try not to let that affect me because the first one was very solid hopefully this one can follow in its footsteps maybe like an inside out 2 just up it from the first one and number 21 is what my vote is for the best movie title possibly of all time we have freakier friday a sequel to freaky friday absolutely wild but i love it at number 20 i have the live action snow white with rachel ziegler and gal gadot and i understand it's very easy to dunk on this movie because a lot of people don't like either of those actresses and they don't feel like they like the live action remakes and i agree with you on the last stand and with not liking gal gadot and i'm not gonna lie i actually think rachel ziegler is a pretty good actress and the first trailer for this kind of has me intrigued it doesn't look that bad i'm gonna be honest 19 is agatha all along this is such a toss-up of a show it seems like it's going to be absolutely just wacky and wild but if it can capture that magic of like the early seasons of WandaVision while still being its own unique thing it could actually be really good because Katherine Hahn is an amazing actress she can do comedy super well so I just hope they have a good script and story to go on with the show because again it kind of seems pointless but I am going to be intrigued just because the concept is at least interesting dealing with all these different witches and all this stuff. 18 is Thunderbolts the team up of all these different like anti-heroes and villains above me now this is going to be mainly focusing on Yelena is what it sounds like they completely skipped over this at D23 though so we didn't really get any more info from what we had at comic-con which is very odd you know this has actually filmed already and they showed a clip at comic-con and yet they were talking about fantastic four at d23 when that hasn't even started filming yet seems like an odd choice but i'm still hopeful for this thing at number 17 i have your friendly neighborhood spider-man this is going to be an animated series that's kind of self-contained following like an origin freshman year of high school peter parker and we can see all these different characters up here i am really excited to get an animated spider-man show again if this can capture like one percent of the quality of x-men 97 i'm gonna love it just because of how much i like spider-man and love seeing all these different characters we know venom's gonna be in it with a symbiote storyline one thing that a lot of people are mad about is that we do know that he gets his origin story with
with the spider bite from Doctor Strange and Venom coming through a portal when they're fighting alongside a spider. So it just seems like we're done with having a self-contained origin and everything has to be through the multiverse. Now this kind of sounds dumb but I'm hopeful for the rest of the series. Number 16 is Percy Jackson season 2. This is going to be covering the Sea of Monsters book which I do really enjoy as a book itself. We're going to see how the adaptation goes. First season was kind of a disappointment for me. I feel like it just ended up feeling and looking very dull and boring which is not what a Percy Jackson series is supposed to be. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be upbeat and have a lot of just vibes to it. Yes there's serious moments and stuff but I feel like the show overall just really missed the tone. The cast in the show felt like they had no chemistry even though in interviews they seem like they get along great so hopefully they can just capture that on screen next season. 15 is the live action Lilo and Stitch. Again I'm very mixed on these live action remakes but Stitch actually looks surprisingly good. I did love this as a kid so hopefully they're gonna do this series right and have a great movie next year. 14 is Tron Aries. I'm kind of worried about this movie I'm not gonna lie but I am very excited at the same time. I love the Tron movies. The entire vibes and atmosphere is great. A little bit of the concerning part of this is that we know the characters are going to be going into the real world in this movie. Really weird decision for this franchise. Hopefully they can do it in a way that fits. We also know the Nine Inch Nails will be doing the soundtrack for this. Could be absolutely wild. It's either going to be amazing or garbage. I'm not going to lie. Number 13 is Avatar 3 Fire and Ash. I'm not the biggest fan of the Avatar movies. I do think they are just visual spectacles, but I'm not going to lie. This whole idea of like the fire tribe and all these different things that we can do with these new biomes kind of has me very intrigued for this. I feel like James Cameron is going to cook on this one. Well, if I have Toy Story 5, which essentially is going to be iPad Kid the movie because the toys are going to be going up against Alexa. Electronics. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of sounds like a fire concept for a movie. I was not on board with another Toy Story because like I knew the quality was gonna be there. It just seemed pointless from a story perspective, but this actually kind of has me intrigued and I feel like they could cook on this one. And plus, every Toy Story movie has been great. 11, I am Moana 2. The first one is just simply a super solid, fun animated movie. Has a lot of just great visuals and music to it. And the trailer for this one honestly looks like it's just gonna be more of the same. So I'm very hopeful for it. I was a little concerned that they turned this as a Disney Plus series into this movie. I thought maybe they were stretching a story but it looks interesting to me. At number 10 I have the Mandalorian and Grogu. I'm not gonna lie a lot of my hype for this has been killed by season three just being kind of disappointing overall but I am hopeful they can recapture the first two great seasons of this show and put it into one great send-off for these two characters in this movie. At number nine I have Avengers Secret Wars. Listen I'm admitting this is probably a little too low but I have my reasons. I feel like there is a way that this is just a complete mess of a movie. Way too many characters and cameos just nostalgia baked garbage. I don't think that's likely. I'm still excited for the movie. It's just a concern I have that's keeping it lower and also heavily depends on how good Avengers Doomsday is which has to be amazing for this to be great too. We have Captain America Brave New World. I'm sorry this looks incredible to me. We're going back to the Winter Soldier just political thriller atmosphere of these movies. I am so excited to see Sam Wilson finally be Captain America. We're going to be dealing with a Celestial from Eternals. We're going to have Adamantium announced into the MCU here. Red Hulk being played by Harrison Ford. I'm all in. Seven is Incredibles 3. We have to trust the track record of these first two absolute bangers of movies and trust in this is going to be incredible too. I know that was a terrible pun. Please forgive me. Number six is Fantastic Four First Steps. Everybody on the planet is making fun of this suit that Joseph Kuhn was wearing. Listen, we're in a 1960s retro New York. I'm messing with the vibes of this suit. The theme song is incredible. I love the cast. We're getting Galactus. This could be absolutely peak. Five is Avengers Doomsday. Listen, I think they can absolutely cook with Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom if this is like a solo movie for him like Infinity War was kind of focused on Thanos. We get a lot of him versus the Fantastic Four in this movie. A great new origin to explain why is Robert Downey Jr. playing this character and maybe it ends with him just ending the multiverse altogether bringing everyone in for Secret Invasion. It's going to be absolutely peak. I know I just said Secret Invasion. I meant Secret Wars not Secret Invasion. That was a terrible show. At number four is X-Men 97 season two. What else can I say? This is going to be absolutely peak. The first one of some of the best Marvel content of the last decade. We also know Danger the villain is going to be in this. Absolutely cannot wait. Let me know your top three most anticipated Disney projects in the comments below. My number three is Andor season two. Season one was absolutely incredible for Star Wars and this one is biting off a huge task. It's taking place over four years apparently. Every three episodes is going to be a time jump. I hope they can pull it off and capture the amazing feel of the first one. It was just so good. Who is Daredevil Born Again? If you haven't seen the trailer just do yourself a favor go and watch it. They brought back like almost all the entire cast. We have Muse as a villain in this. It looks so good. I cannot believe it's finally happening. Maybe I'm insane for this but my number one is Spider-Man 4. I think Spider-Man No Way Home has set this up to be one of the greatest spider man solo movies we've ever seen right up there with the Spider-Verse films in quality. As long as this is more of a grounded story, maybe we get some Kingpin, some Black Cat, maybe Scorpion in this. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Tom Holland is going to prove he's that guy as Spider-Man. I cannot wait for it. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching the entire thing. I'd really appreciate it if you want to follow me on X or Twitter at Vets Movies and the same handle over on Letterboxd. Thank you again.